Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasan. What's up, Super Crow? Stacy Sun, good to see you. And because of the success of the Doogie unboxing and such, uh, okay. other other vendors have reached out to me and they want me to unbox more budget phones and when you say budget it really is like eight hundred dollars so it's not really a budget phone but apparently that is kind of the minimal sort of uh price a lot of these phones are going at so today from singapore uh we got a brand new unboxing we're gonna do of the okitel official store uh the wp19 uh, this is gonna be the rugged smartphone brand i think it's supposed to be comparable competitive to the doogie and such so we're going to unbox it and see what it's all about da -da what's in the box what's in the box <laughs> There you go. That, can, oh, no, can, I'm going to take can, that for you. We can take turns passing it around, ripping her open. <laughs> Here's the box itself. Yep. And let's see. And let's see. Okay. So this no is, uh, I'll read off some of the stats for you. This is going to be 8 gigs of memory, 256 gigabytes internal memory, uh, 4G. It's going to be the same sort of SIM card sort of thing that the Doogie is doing as well. And I believe... This is going to be a fingerprint scanner version. I don't know if it's going to have night vision or uh, mm -hmm. thermal vision like the what other one. What size is the battery? Uh, hella high. Oh, it's going to be uh, 21,000 mAh battery. Megahertz. Megahertz? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> right, so we are streaming on Twitch, so people are yeah. picking up on my sexual windows. Here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Time to take the top off. Drum roll. Oh my god. So it's oh, it's hurt. it's gonna be another it's gonna be another brick. And I, I say that respectively in terms of the fact that these things weigh a lot. Oh <laughs> Hold up a second. Whoa! <laughs> Oh so god, it, it comes with a It's heavier than the other one. USB Yo, this is a cable and a power brick, which you would actually you need a um uh converter for it. Bro. Yeah. Oh my god, hold that. <laughs> Yo, if the doogie this, is This feels like I'm holding a a, a, a <laughs> an iPad. If the doogie, Bro. if the doogie is uh Mjolnir that's Stormbreaker right there. Holy snap. So, all right. So to give you a comparison, and uh, it's only fair. It's only fair I take off my cover. That's not even a cover. This is my iPhone 11 Pro Max busted mm -hmm. on both sides because, you know, that's mm -hmm. how I roll. This is the Doogie right here. And then this. <laughs> That is uh wow i will say texture wise this this is pretty cool looking the back end of it so i'm thinking that that's an holy snap what is that an extra storage battery on the back it end? Or is that just the back end? hold on we got to turn the lights on for this like i gotta see this in like clear as day here we go whoa what the wow i don't know about this y'all this is, I guess, oh, one of those. They even printed in Japanese. That's cool. This is one of those phones where you're going to, like, it's stationed. Like, this is one of these emergency phones. If there's ever a fire. <laughs> it, like, not joking. It feels like about the same weight as a satellite phone. Okay. Um, All right. Okay. Uh, wow. Yep. That is what it is. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> That's the emergency. <laughs> That's why it's so heavy. So yeah, this is literally built for emergencies. So we, I, if you, I squeezed it too hard, and then the uh, the, the alarm, alarm went, went off. off. Like I guess if you're being chased or something, or or maybe you were squeezing this one. And yeah, this yeah, one yeah, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. But that's kind of scary that you could do that so easily. Like, it is, but I actually like that because if you're in, you're having emergency. 
be nice that it's accessible, quickly accessible. True. As opposed to, wait, 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 let me get into my apps. No, well, no, no. so the iPhone oh, yeah. version is the same thing. Like, you turn it and then you just slide yeah, it but over. But then you have to slide it over. Right, that's this true, one, that's true. That's true. Of sliding, that's true. Just says, oh, okay. But, damn, I can't imagine a woman holding, like, well, it is not joking. This it's is a hefty pretty phone. heavy, dude. Like, hold on. Like, <laughs> let, like, let me go. Let, let me go get my uh, gram calculator, so you guys can really see what we're dealing with. Here. Is this waterproof or water resistant? I would certainly hope so. It's gonna, it's gonna fall to the bottom of the ocean. It's gonna create. I'm not joking. This is heavy. It's, it's. Pretty... It's that battery. Yeah. It's that battery and all I those emergency the, functions I, that's in it. I'm guessing that's what the the. Uh, that's what the selling point is, I guess, is the fact that you can do that. All right, so then you don't have to worry about it blowing away. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's do for comparison's sake the iPhone first. We got the iPhone 11 Pro Max clocking in at 222 grams there. Okay, then we'll do the Doogie here. The Doogie is 323 grams, okay? And then the Okitel, a whopping 572 grams. That's a big difference. A regular, just a basic battery charger is 244 grams like that. So that, basically, even that with that, that that ex external battery that you just had, right. plus your iPhone, it's still almost 100 over grant a difference right so if you ever need it to, four, 466 grams and this was five something right yep five yeah. wow it's got it's got a octa core 66 megapixel camera 800 uh gigabytes 256 gigabytes uh 6.78 fhd field of depth probably uh 21 like he said 21,000. uh Megahertz, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Can I call in an airstrike with it? <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> we I'm need. Surprised you we need a fall down now. Um, it's an Android. It's running Android 12. The fingerprint unlock, a diamond resistant, and M NFC. Okay. All right. Well, the give us uh, give me some time to play around with um, this, but. It's it's got four cameras. No, no, sorry, three cameras on here. So I am kind of curious what 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 is the selling point of, of this particular phone? Let's go ahead and take a look and see what uh, because I'm gonna have to try some stuff out and then get, uh, come back with an official review. But uh, let's go ahead and look at, take a look at the movie together. Stormbreaker. Okay, so it does have night vision. It does have night vision. It's water resistant. It is water resistant. Gravity resistant. <laughs> That is to last. What? Whoa! So it's stating that the battery will last That's over it. 75 to 80 days. I guess so this is, it's basically supposed to be when you're like, like you said, the on camping to a satellite phone CS, get without yeah. it being a satellite phone. Yeah. Okay, so it's basically an explorer phone. That's what yeah. it's meant to be. Okay. That's pretty okay. cool. Okay. All right. Yeah, check Amazon for phone cases. Yeah, I guess, please, <laughs> man. Yeah, the yeah. Phone case adds another 500 grand. Yep, yep, yep. I wonder, is there going to be a gimbal for this? <laughs> yeah, industri you're gonna have to, industrial strength. Yeah, huh? You're going to have to buy a crane, an actual tractor as the gimbal. <laughs> I could see you having to actually have a, uh, a holster or something. Well, apparently. Sewn or screwed into your, uh, your flight vest. Well, apparently you can get this uh, phone here for three hundred something dollars, which is crazy. So that that's even really yeah. As their uh, world premiere launch thing, this thing is going to be available at the end of June here. Mm. Um, until July, they have a split sale where you can get it for three hundred something dollars, or no, actually two hundred sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Where is that? 
Uh, apparently on, on AliExpress. You can get it at AliExpress and a few other places. I'll leave the link in the description below. Hmm. Uh, give us some time to uh, give me some time yeah, to connect like, this to the Wi-Fi. Make, make it one and test it out. Yeah, exactly. We'll, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set all this up and try to get the same review for you within the same day here. But if not, uh, thank you, DC Sun, for your help with Hey, no problem. <laughs> it's, it's, I can't. It's like, <laughs> Yo, you need like, superpowers for this one. Dude, seriously, can you, can, you, can you imagine sitting there? <laughs> talking? But I'm not joking. I like... So I like that it has a, uh, a rugged look to it. I like that it has this kind of weight to it because it's like, look, you're only going to use it to talk on the phone when it's necessary. And emergencies, yeah. You're not going to sit there and be holding like three hour conversations. If you are, your arm is going to be posted somewhere <laughs> up against something because just realistically, it's not a yeah. natural weight. Yeah. Um, it's a, this is something you would keep in your truck, yep. in your van or something like that. This, yeah. this would literally be something that you yeah. keep for emergencies or like you see in the video you're out in the wilderness hiking that's pretty cool so yeah. my, my only question for it is uh i guess the things that i would test outside of a camera would be really reception okay so like reception wise how is it how well does it work in the city and then correct go slightly outside the city and see up until what point it's and i think i think a lot of that really depends on your uh, 4g like uh, what type of 4G you're having, yeah. uh, what kind of uh, what, what kind of uh, SIM card you uh, have as well. So um, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting that the camera housing is, is practically flush. It's crazy, right? Yeah. But yeah, they yeah. they also have these recesses on it, so it's not sitting flat and scratching up your screen the whole time. That's uh, scratching up the lenses. For the That's please, cool. for the love of God, don't hold it in the air while you're laying on the bed. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> You can do that. You won't be sleeping anytime soon. Oh, you will. It'll just be the last Permanent. sleep. Yep, yep. You know? Yo, man. Yeah. It's funny how this part reminds me of a taser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. That's really cool. It's crazy, right? Because you can fake someone. It's like, get back. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> like that. Safety first. Put that shit on some string on a rope and swing yeah, it around. That's, that's what this is for. <laughs> I think you're right. It does actually have a hook here, so you could actually do that um and just <laughs> i'll kill you all like that yeah i think it's a cool phone. dc john trying to put the pocket in his phone right hold on let me let me see will it fit in the pocket i'm trying to see make sure my pants doesn't rip my okay okay you know it's, it's not... you feel like you have your wallet and two phones in your pocket it's it's heavy but it's not uh, it's not that heavy i mean <laughs> This is like one of them uh, government strength phones and yeah, shit. Like, it is. very military grade. Yeah. Yeah. That's but, cool. I mean, yeah, I mean. Does it come in any other color? Sure, we do. Bold, yeah, I mean. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, no, nope, that's it. That's it. Wow, this is crazy. I know, but considering what, I'll say this, considering what it is slated to do yeah. and have yeah, on yeah. three hundred dollars that is really really good it's a military grade phone or it's a camp it's a it's it's meant to be a rugged phone so so as yeah. as a new person this one how much was this running uh i think this was about three hundred to seven hundred dollars it depends because uh the price it costs in japan is a little different yeah right. so yeah but i think this is a budget phone as well so yeah so it's almost like looking at the light version it's like saying yeah. like the the 11 pro the 11 i believe pro like now as a consumer <laughs> as a consumer if i had to choose between the two um that would be difficult if you're camping this is probably going to be the best if you mm. need a really rugged phone that's not going to break yeah like you need something you can depend on this is it um if you want a more rely a uh, relaxing one where you just need it mm. like i'm using it for the heat vision and things like that and i would pick that one. yeah for me i like this big hands i like the weight of it it's not something that that I've, is true that's a good point we have it's been a while since we've actually had, had a, phone. a phone that actually fits yeah. hands. but also like Hello? if you were to take no, take okay. the phone close and, button okay close mm. button okay uh hit the back maybe no the arrow underneath it. navigation bar back button and i'll say Welcome this speaker back. wise close button. that speaker is clear <laughs> as hell tap to activate so one of the things I like about this, the idea that if I sat this down on the Close table, button. the average person isn't going to come up and just try taking it. Warning! Warning! Right. Intruder alert! 
Dude, Holy it's, shit! It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty All cool. right, awesome. Well, we'll uh, we'll I'll play around with this a little bit, and I'll see if I can give you a closing statement after I get it connected online and such. Yeah. We were just talking about even with the spring protector, the quality looks very very good. You can't tell on uh, your guys' side, but it's very good and it sounds very very good. Yeah, the, 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 the speaker for it is really really clear. Very well done, actually. That part. Is and cool. that's not max volume. All right, had a few minutes to test with this, and the one thing I like about this versus the other phone is the fact that the night vision and it looks like portrait mode, uh, mm. all of that is uh, inclusive into the actual video. Uh, thermal camera, I have no idea yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, I... <laughs> it's like, but the night vision thing is on. It's on there, so. <laughs> I'm still playing around with it, but yeah, yeah, the, I do like, uh, I've always liked this night vision thing, so. I don't, you know what? Maybe thermal was not advertised in this one, actually. Um, yeah. Right? I think it was just waterproof and night vision. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't After do thermal. Predator, it, yeah, yeah, it just yeah. showed night vision because it was like animals or something at night. Right. So that's kind of, oh. But it has thermal? It has night vision. <laughs> completely threw me off it's like you handed me an actual mountain <laughs> <laughs> screen is display is really nice too yeah, yeah.